Welcome to a ViewSonic how-to. My name is Ray, and today I'm going to be showing you how you connect one of our portable monitors to a late model iPhone or iPad, and specifically an iPad which does not have a USB-C like the iPad Pro, but has the lightning connector. So on the ViewSonic side, we provide you with every cable uh, you'll need for this configuration to work. But on the iPhone iPad side, you will need to get one accessory, and that's this little adapter here, uh, which will convert a lightning connector uh, to a full-size HDMI. So let's go ahead and get this configured now. Uh, first thing you'll need on the portable is because HDMI does not carry any power, uh, it does need to be powered by the included power adapter. So you'll want to plug that in to any available socket. And then you'll want to connect the USB-C cable that we include for the portable monitor to that power adapter and to either one of the open ports. Uh, once you do that, this monitor will automatically kick on power. Uh, on the, we'll do the iPhone here. It's the exact same for the iPad. You connect the little dongle like so, and then the full-size HDMI goes into that dongle. And then the other side, which is a mini HDMI, that goes into the portable monitor. And now you can see that the portable display is mirroring what I have on the iPhone screen. Uh, if you go into, say, your browser or any app that does landscape and portrait view, uh, if you turn the phone, it will then fill up more of the portable display. It is important to note that because this is being carried over HDMI, uh, none of the touch signals for the Apple product will work on this touch portable. Um, so you would need to control it from your iPhone or iPad, um, but this is an ideal setup if you're trying to mirror content from your Apple product to your portable display. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Please watch this space for more how-to videos on ViewSonic products.